I can still get into the app, but let's jump into the car and see if that changes at midnight and why we are watching this at a silly time of night. Okay, closing in on midnight. Why are we bunching around suburban Massachusetts? Well, the answer would not normally be to check on the Blink network. However, the Blink network in about eight minutes is going to go into a period of maintenance, which initially they had said would be only available if you had an RFID card. But uh, in the last few hours here, they've moved to Freeven. So we're gonna take a look at what this does and how it switches from regular operating to Freeven mode. Okay, so currently online, all lit up. They probably will remain all lit up, but uh, you can see in the app that they're available and ready to go. So we'll start to charge now. It is station 653. We'll hit charge. Huh, maybe it's gone off early here. Okay, well let's see if it plugs in and just so starts. Okay, well in that case, looks like we've already hit free mode. Okay, so you can see we've started up there. This is one of the chargers that can go uh, pretty high. Some of these are uh, up to 19 kilowatts. This one is 16.6, I think it was. The Ionic 5 Max is at about 10.9 kilowatts, so we're getting pretty close to the full whack there. But that's not what this is for, really. What we're looking at here is uh, when networks default to free charging and why. So at the moment we can get into their app. I'm not sure if this will change. I'm not sure if it'll go offline at uh, midnight here, but you can see now it does know that I'm uh, charging. It's got one busy. That's the one we're on, 653, and the other one available, which we just saw. So uh, that's all as you would expect. Normally we'd have to pay here. We'd uh, either start it up with um, the contactless payment or hit the charge button and it would start billing our Blink account. This weekend it's uh, charging on us. Why is that? Um, previously they had said that the Blink app would be unavailable for uh, their updating it to a new one. And as you can see here, it's new app's gonna be downloaded, downloadable on Monday, the October the 10th. But they'd said essentially that you wouldn't be able to use it unless you had an RFID card. So if in the unusual circumstance that you were utterly reliant on blink charging only, and it's the only place you can charge on your journeys for this particular weekend, they were gonna shut those off and say basically, unless you have an RFID card, you can't use it. So not much light here, so we'll just watch the charge and overlay some of the visuals from uh, other charge sessions. If you have charged with Electrify America in uh, certainly the month of September, there's a good chance that you'll have seen a free charge uh, complimentary session. And that's because there's a pretty significant software update happening, it seems, whether it's uh, something that was scheduled and kind of went awry, or if they have simply uh, decided that because of all the maintenance going on and everything else that's uh, happening with the network upgrades at the moment that they simply need to default to complementary charging you know, in any place where there's doubt. It's called free vend mode, where the payment system more often than not, but sometimes also the connectivity of the station, whatever it is, provides a reason that people might not be able to get a charge. And quite often with Electrify America, it's been uh, related to the card readers, payment, uh, not being able to go through, that kind of thing, and so a charging session wouldn't start, which is obviously a bit of a disaster if, uh, like Electrify America, a lot of your locations are remote, travel places, where there's really not necessarily a whole lot of other charging options along the way. So often they'll default it to free. You plug in, the charge starts, and that's as simple as it gets, really, and, you know, we're looking to get to plug and charge. Well, this is the easiest way for them to do it. Of course, that means giving out the energy for free, 
and that's not something that any uh, business can do for a long, long term. But uh, that it has been the way that Electrify America has handled some of its more uh, significant system challenges, give people something to write positively about instead of a negative, uh, unable to start a charge experience. And that's generally better for the network's press than uh, giving them problems. Blink isn't necessarily one of the leading networks. They certainly could have locations that some people um, rely on. And uh, just sending out this, you know, if you hit this when you really needed this charger for some reason, um, this looks like the maintenance has begun. If you did not have the RFID card at this point, you would have come to this location. Um, and if they had gone with their previous plan, you'd be getting this. It's obviously a negative experience, and um, this was what was going to happen. The intention was to simply say, if you didn't have an RFID card, you should just avoid blink charges this weekend. Now, obviously that is not the case. It's charging me up just fine. I'll unplug and uh, give the other one a go, see if that works exactly the same. But... Okay, so again, this is the session that I started before the network just went off and the app stopped working. So two kilowatt hours delivered, more or less. Let's unplug that. Gives me my charge there. It's trying to say that that would have cost 62 cents to my account had that been a regular charge. But we'll plug in and see what this does. See if these will reach to the station. Obviously, this is a silly time of night, so I'm not blocking anybody here. And the Ionic confirms we're fired up. So, exactly as they intended, charging starts. It does say there's a bills accruing but that will not be charged to my account. I'm not even able to get into the app right now, so this is true complimentary charging. Uh, free charging, complimentary sessions, free vend mode, whatever you want to call it, uh, that is the way to go if you're a charge point operator and planning some maintenance that will disrupt TV drivers. Make it easy, make it simple, generate a little bit of goodwill from the free charge and mitigate any terrible experiences where you strand people because they couldn't use your charging network.